It takes a certain kind of monster to not only kill someone, but to kill a member of your own family. There are no words to describe the evil required for a woman to murder her own sister and then make her disappear by hiding her body in her own house for 18 years. This is the story of Jasmina Dominic and Smiljana Cernik. In the country of Croatia, Smiljana Cernik and Jasmina Dominic were both born in the village of Pavlovic. Smiljana was the older of the two, born in 1974, and her sister, Jasmina, was born three years later in 1977 to a very dysfunctional family. They had a father named Martin who was an alcoholic, and their much older mother, Katarina, may have had some mental health issues. Jasmina grew up to be a great student and an even better athlete who enrolled in the Faculty of Political Science in Zagreb around 1996. She quit school for unknown reasons in 1999, but it's possible that it could have been due to financial hardship. Smiljana's story is the complete opposite, in that she was being dropped off by her parents at school, but had been going somewhere else every day from junior high right up until the end of high school. She had been skipping school completely, possibly even since elementary school. This was only determined when she attempted to get a job as an elementary school teacher's aide years later and had to produce her transcripts. Her parents found out that she had been lying to them for years about where she had been spending her time, and this was only the beginning of Smiljana Cernik's strange behavior. In the year 2000, Jasmina Dominic vanished. The only person who claimed to have contact with her was her sister. When asked about where Jasmina was, Smiljana told anyone asked that Jasmina was living in France with a boyfriend and wanted to cut ties with her old life, not wanting to talk with anyone she had known anymore. Smiljana and her husband Ivan Cernik once went on vacation to Budapest and Smiljana's friend noticed she was using her missing sister's identification. Smiljana brushed it off as a misunderstanding. The Dominic family would be torn apart due to the mother of the two girls, not filing any type of missing persons report until years after Jasmina was gone. Katerina Dominic, Jasmina's mother, didn't go to the police until 2005. There was no trace of her whatsoever, and when police attempted to find her, the family gave them the runaround. There was no sign of her in the house, and there were no developments until Jasmina's father, Martin, died in 2013. The police finally began an investigation, and one of Jasmina's uncles even hired a psychic to help with the case. The psychic mentioned to the family that she had been hit on the head with a blunt object. Over the course of several years, she would be investigated for filing fake police reports and showed signs of certain mental health issues. She would eventually be diagnosed with personality disorders and narcissistic characteristics. Psychologists agreed that people with these issues have a lack of emotions and repressed aggression. The body of Jasmina Dominic was discovered after a power outage happened, which caused the family's freezer to thaw. Smiljana's daughter and boyfriend discovered the corpse of Jasmina wrapped up in a blanket as well as cellophane along with frozen food, which was piled next to the body. She had been killed by up to five blows to the head, and it wasn't until 18 years later after Jasmina's disappearance that her body was found in 2018. Smiljana Cernik was arrested and the investigation found extensive physical evidence in the way of DNA and fingerprints of hers all over the body of her sister. The motive was simple, jealousy, in that Jasmina's life was going in the right direction while Smiljana's was not. She was sentenced on June 30th, 2020 and was given 15 years for homicide and concealment of a body and has never appealed for her conviction. She is in jail as of today, and the city of Pavlovic in Croatia remains horrified about the details of this case even now.